Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So recently I was in a conversation with one of our subscribers. It was a casual conversation. We were talking about DevOps and cloud and I was sharing my personal experience to basically explain how someone can excel in this space. During the conversation, I felt I shared a very important piece of advice and right after the meeting, I decided I should share this advice with every one of you because I personally felt this is very important in the current times. So I'll share the same thing in today's video. I'll try to keep it very short. Make sure you watch the video till the end. So basically, whenever we talk about DevOps and cloud, I'm sure you must have seen a lot of people saying this space is all about updating some YAML manifests. DevOps and cloud is all about updating some build scripts, deploying applications to some XYZ environments. To be honest, I was also the same. When I started my career with Tata Consultancy Services back in 2014, I joined as a support engineer, Java support engineer, and they did not have anyone to take care of build and release. So they onboarded me and every day my work was very simple just to update some form.xml files, update some deployment scripts and deploy the application to the lower end moment. My access was so restricted. I did not even know that build and release engineers deploy the application to stage and production as well. I thought this is the scope of the work because I'm very new to the space and because there was no one to guide, I thought this is what everyone else would also do. And I used to accept the same work for the next one year. I did almost the same thing every day, log in, check the emails, deploy the application, go back. And I was so happy with my work because there were no complaints. I was doing exactly what I was asked to. And I was also accepting more work when someone is not in the office, when management wants to ship more applications to the lower environment. I was more happy to accept the work to update files in the notepad and deploy the application. Honestly, I received good feedback as well. So management said, you know, you are always ready to accept work. You are always ready to deploy the application and they shared some awards as well. So at this point of time, I was also ready to burn out. I was also ready to spend more hours just to do the same thing. Now, when I went back, and when I started giving the interviews, that is when I realized I was a frog in the well. Because in 2015, when I went out and started giving the interviews, some companies, I'm talking about the top companies, when I gave the interviews, people were talking about Ansible. People were talking about Terraform. And I was sitting there and thinking, updating notepads, updating deployment scripts is what everyone would do. And that was a very harsh reality check. Fortunately, I took that reality check very serious and I started upgrading myself constantly. Today, I must have explored at least thousand tools in the space of DevOps and cloud. I'm not exaggerating because every day I come across a new tool and every day I explore the new tool. Now, what I'm trying to say here, you know, I was ready to burn out to do the exact same thing because of lack of guidance, because I thought Updating some files is what DevOps engineers do. Back then, build and release engineers do. Now, unfortunately, even in 2025, in a lot of service-based companies, people are doing exactly the same thing. Unfortunately, they are working as DevOps and cloud engineers, but their role is very restricted. And they are accepting the restricted role. So my piece of advice, if you are in this space, just step out. Just step out of your comfort zone, you will realize how vast this space is. Until the recent Cloudflare attack, a lot of people did not know what is CDN. But to be very honest, CDN is the responsibility of DevOps and cloud engineers. It's very unfortunate that people did not know what is CDN, how CDN works. But in fact, to scale your application, CDN is one of the most required ones. Otherwise, your application would go into the latencies. You cannot serve your applications to millions of users across the globe. Now, who should take this responsibility? Ultimately, DevOps and cloud engineers. So this way, 
there are a lot of things people are yet to explore gitops people are yet to explore progressive deployment progressive delivery people are yet to explore cdl people are yet to explore api gateways so it is not very late fortunately ai has very less impact on this space so if you are watching this to video today and if you are struck in the service based company doing the same things again and again make sure you spend at least 1 to 2 hours a day so that you can upgrade yourself if you are doing those old activities definitely you will be replaced by ai but if you are doing something new if you are innovating yourself every day then ai cannot replace you explore observability explore all the things that i have said the one more important thing i know in your current role you must be great in your current organization you must be great but what is the point of sitting in a room and you are the most intelligent one in the room just step out of the room sit in a room where everyone else is more intelligent than you only then you will realize how the world is evolving so don't accept everything that your management throws at you only accept certain things where you can also see yourself growing in the space okay i totally understand you cannot just reject everything that is coming at you but at least make sure in your day to day life 80 percentage of your sprint you are working for your organization at least 20 percentage of the sprint you are working for yourself out of 10 activities at least do two activities so that you can learn something new eight activities so that you can satisfy your management you can make sure your application and your organization is excelling and this way you can also introduce lot of new things to your organization so this is a piece of advice innovate or else you will become obsolete one day and if you are planning to burn out why not burn out for something good i hope this video makes sense i know you know this is completely out of other videos what we do we usually do technical videos i usually talk about uh, other things in the space of devops and cloud but while talking to this subscriber i felt i should share the same piece of advice with every one of you i hope this video makes sense and you found it useful do let me know your thoughts in the comment section see you all in the next video take care